An Iolani school teacher is being hailed a hero after saving the life of a 100-year-old kupuna. The teacher tells our Max Rodriguez he was at the right place at the right time with the right training. Ceramics teacher Ryan Roberts says it was a usual drive home on the poly when he noticed something strange. A car pulled on the left turning lane, someone apparently waving in need of help. He pulled over, checking if everything was all right. She said that her mom was choking and that uh, I kind of looked into the car and she was pretty tiny. So I just got around behind her and um, got my hands under her and kind of pulled up around here. Yolani's school had recently provided CPR training, his instinct kicking in. He initially performed two abdominal thrusts. The, the last one was like, all right, here come your lungs, dear. <laughs> and we went at her pretty hard and then she started coughing and she curled over pretty good and uh, just spit up some stuff. And then she started crying a little bit. And I'll uh, say, so yeah, if you can cry, you're breathing. Depending on the situation, having CPR training could improve someone's odds. Here I can help and just do this, abdominal thrust. Performing abdominal thrusts in this case, very likely saving this 100-year-old woman's life. Thumb in, fist, thumb side facing the abdomen, right above the belly button, yep, and you push just in a hard upward thrust. Experts say the best thing you could do if you see someone in distress is to act as quickly as possible. You will want to approach them, ask them if they're okay. If they're not able to respond, but you see that they're choking, you're gonna wanna make a fist, put it right above their belly button, and just start thrusting. You don't have to be a paramedic, you don't have to be a nurse, you don't have to be a doctor. You just need to take the training. Robert says he is still shaky from the whole experience, but happy he was there when needed most. Max Rodriguez, KH1T News, working for Hawaii.